Welcome to the tutorial on managerial accounting. Today the chapter is flexible budgets and performance analysis. In the previous tutorial we have learned about master budgeting and in master budgeting we have prepared the budgets on the basis of expectations or estimated amounts but sometimes the actual results may differ from the expectations. The master budget is also known as planning budget or static budget. That means sometimes the numbers of planning budget may be differ with the actual results. And in this chapter we are going to explain how budgets can be adjusted to help guide actual operations and influence the performance evaluation process. That means from the planning budget if we observe that in the actual results there are some difference in that case we should adjust the figures by preparing a budget which is known as flexible budget and in flexible budget we can also know the performance of the revenue center and cost centers and organizations actual expense will rarely equal its budgeted expense as estimated at the beginning of the period the reason is that the actual level of activity i mean the sales or number of service provided will rarely be the same as the budgeted activity that's why many actual expense and revenues will naturally differ from what was budgeted we may be aware about management by exception in that case we find out the discrepancies or differences between the actuals and standard or budgeted amounts and for that purpose we should prepare the performance report from which we can analyze the variances or differences or discrepancies then we can raise questions for the reasons of those variances or discrepancies after that we need to identify the root causes by which we can take actions for remedial measures to prevent the unfavorable discrepancies and in this way we can get idea by which we can conduct next periods operations and in this way we can analyze the variances and this process is a continuous process that's why we can see it's a variance analysis cycle in the next year we will start again by preparing the performance report then analyzing the variances raising questions identifying root causes and taking actions then conducting next periods operations in this chapter we are going to learn about flexible budgets flexible budgets enable managers to isolate the various causes of the differences between budgeted and actual cost i'd like to remind you that we have prepared master budget in which we have shown the budgeted figures but in actual situations there may be difference between the budgeted and actual cost in that case by preparing the flexible budgets we can find out the causes of differences a flexible budget is a budget that is adjusted to the actual level of activity i mean we prepare the flexible budget by taking the actual level of activity and by applying the formula of planning budget or master budget that means a flexible budget is the estimate of what revenues and cost should have been given the actual level of activity during the period i mean the flexible budget is the estimation of what revenues and cost should have been this is the main definition of flexible budget we estimate what revenues and cost should have been given the actual level of activity i mean applying the actual level of activity what would be the revenues and cost 
that type of estimation is done by preparing the flexible budget a flexible budget can be compared to the budget from the beginning i mean the planning budget that means we've compared the planning budget with the flexible budget for a performance analysis by doing comparison we find out two types of variance one is activity variance another one is revenue and spending variances activity variances can be found by comparing the planning budget with the flexible budget and revenue and spending variance can be found by comparing the actual results with the flexible budgets after comparison the variances may be favorable variance or unfavorable variance a favorable revenue variance indicates that revenue was larger than should have been expected i mean the actual revenue is higher than the expected revenue in that case that is favorable revenue variance on the other hand unfavorable revenue variance indicates the revenue was less than it should have been that means actual revenue is lower than the expected revenue in that case there is a unfavorable revenue variance on the other hand favorable spending variance indicates the cost was less than the expected i mean actual cost is lower than the expected cost in that case there would be a favorable spending variance on the other hand unfavorable spending variance indicates the cost was greater than it should have been i mean if the actual cost is higher than the expected or budgeted cost then that situation is known as unfavorable spending variance our main focus in this tutorial is to prepare the flexible budget performance report a flexible budget performance report combines activity variances and revenue and spending variances on one report i mean in flexible budget performance report we show both the activity variance and revenue and spending variance for your better understanding i am going to prepare a flexible budget performance report from a practical problem we can see hirels fish house is a family owned restaurant that specializes in scandinavian style seafood data concerning the restaurant's monthly revenues and cost appear below q refers to the number of meals served i mean we are going to prepare a flexible budget performance report from a data of restaurant business we can see the data regarding the revenues and cost and here q means number of meals served i mean this is the cost driver cost driver is any issue for which expenses occur and here q is indicating number of meals served that means some expenses of this company depends on the number of meals served however we can see the formula of revenue is 16.50 i mean here we have written formula because this revenue 16.50 depends on the number of meals served if the number of meals is lower then there will be lower revenue if the number of meals is higher there will be a higher revenue that's why here 16.50 q q means number of meals served then you can see cost of ingredients i mean materials 6.25 q q means number of meals served that means this revenues and cost depends on the number of meals served then we can see wages and salaries 10400 but in this amount there is no indication of q that means it's a fixed expense utilities expense 800 plus 0.20 q that means this utilities expense is a mixed cost item we know that in mixed cost there is a fixed cost here 800 is the fixed cost and 0.20 is the variable cost and q is indicating the number of meals served that means if you want to calculate the utilities expense then you need to multiply the number of meals served with the 0.20 to get the variable expense then you need to add the fixed expense and total would be the utilities expense that means here this utilities expense is a mixed cost 
this 800 is a fixed cost and 0 0.20 is the variable cost then you can see rent 2200 there is no indication of q that means it's a fixed cost and we can see miscellaneous expense 600 plus 0 0.80 q the miscellaneous expense is also a mixed cost because here 600 is the fixed cost and 0 0.80 is the variable cost here 0 0.80 depends on the number of meals served and from this data we need to prepare a planning budget assuming that we have planned for 1800 meals which would be served i mean this 1800 is the level of activity under planning budget now we are going to prepare the planning budget by applying the formula so this is the planning budget we can see budgeted meals served 1800 this is our estimated level of activity and here q is indicating the level of activity by which we will calculate the revenue and other expenses then we can see revenue 16.50 from the question we can see revenue formula is 16.50 q q means number of meals served so here revenue would be 16.50 q q means 1800 meals so if we multiply this 16.50 with the 1800 then we can find the 29700 we can see 16.50 multiply by 1800 then our revenue would be 29700 so this is the 29700 and from this revenue we will deduct the expenses from the question we can see the cost of ingredients is 6.25 q so here cost of ingredients 6.25 q and if we multiply this 6.25 with the 1800 because here q is indicating the number of meals served so by multiplying 6.25 with the 1800 6.25 multiply by 1800 then our cost of ingredient is 11250 then we can see wages and salaries 10400 from the portion we can see wages and salaries 10400 there is no indication of q that's why this amount would be considered as a fixed cost wages and salaries 10400 this is the amount utilities expense utilities expense is a mixed cost because here 800 is the fixed cost and 0 0.20 is the variable cost this 0 0.20 variable cost depends on the number of meals served so if we multiply this 0 0.20 with the 1800 we can see point 0 multiply by 1800 then we can see 360 is the variable utilities cost with this 360 we will add the 800 fixed cost plus 800 then we can see 1160 this is the total utilities cost here 1160 is the total utilities cost then we can see rent expense from the question we can see rent expense 2200 it's a fixed cost because there is no indication of q i mean there is no variable portion that's why the total amount 2200 is the fixed cost we can see rent 2200 here 2200 then we can see miscellaneous expense from the question we can see miscellaneous expense is a mixed cost because here 600 is the fixed portion and 0 0.80 is the variable portion so if we multiply this 0 0.80 with the 1800 0 0.80 with the activity level 1800 then we can see variable portion is 1440 this is the variable miscellaneous expense with this variable portion we will add the 600 plus 600 then total cost would be 2040 we can see total miscellaneous expense 2000 40 so these are the expenses by adding these elements of expenses 11250 10400 1160 2200 and 2040 total expense would be 27050 now if we deduct these expenses from the 29700 is the revenue and expenses 27050 then our net operating income is the 2650 and this is the budgeted income statement that's why we have written planning budget here one important thing is that we have prepared the planning budget 
assuming that we can serve meal up to 1800 that means this is the planning activity level but from the question we can see actually the company or the restaurant has served 1700 meals although we have planned for 1800 i mean we have prepared the planning budget in the beginning of the period but at the end of the period we can see actually we served 1700 that's why by using this 1700 actual activity level we need to prepare a flexible budget that means in flexible budget we apply the actual level of activity here actual level of activity is 1700 and with this actual level of activity we will apply the cost formula or the revenue formula from the planning budget these are the formula now we are going to prepare a flexible budget to know what revenues and cost should have been this is the flexible budget you have to notice here that in flexible budget we apply the same formula from the planning budget but we use the actual level of activity here our actual level of activity is 1700 so if we multiply this 107000 activity level with the revenue formula here 16.50 16.50 multiply by 1700 here 1700 is the actual level of activity then our revenue would be 28050 so this is the revenue under flexible budget 28050 then we will deduct the expenses and we will calculate the expenses on the basis of actual level of activity but we have taken this formula from the planning budget i mean here 6.25 10400 800 plus 0 0.20 these are the formula taken from the planning budget and we use the actual level of activity so if we multiply the 6.25 6.25 multiply by 1700 this is the actual level of activity then we can get 10625 this is the cost of ingredients 10625 in the same way wages and salaries this is the fixed amount so 10400 then we can see it will reduce expense 800 fixed plus 0 0.20 if we multiply 0 0.20 with the 1700 then our variable utilities expenses 340 plus 800 is the fixed amount 800 then our total utilities expense would be 1140 we can see 1140 then we can see rent is the fixed amount 2200 we have written as it is then we can see miscellaneous expense 600 is the fixed and 0 0.80 is the variable portion if we multiply 0 0.80 with the actual activity 1700 then we can see 1360 this is the variable portion of miscellaneous expense with this variable portion we will add the 600 as a fixed portion of miscellaneous expense plus 600 then total miscellaneous expense would be 1960 so this 1960 is the miscellaneous expense and if we add all the expenses we can see total expense would be 26,325 by adding this expenses 10,625 10,400 1,140 2,200 1,960 total expense 26,325 if we detect the total expense from the revenue 28,050 then our net operating income under flexible budget would be 1725 this is the flexible budget in flexible budget we use the actual level of activity and we use the cost or revenue formula from the planning budget from the requirement we can see we have already prepared the planning budget as well as the flexible budget but our main focus in this chapter is preparing the flexible budget performance report and for preparing the flexible budget performance report we need all the actual data here we can see our actual results from the period is revenue 27920 cost of ingredients 11110 wages and salaries 10130 utilities expense 1080 rent 2200 
miscellaneous expense 2240 so these are the actual amounts or actual results or actual figures these actual figures are not calculated on the basis of formula they are taken as it is now we are going to prepare the flexible budget performance report this is the flexible budget performance report in this flexible budget performance report in the initial stage we have prepared the planning budget these are the amount taken from the planning budget we can see these are the amount this amount has been taken to the flexible budget performance report we can see these are the amounts taken from the planning budget and we have also prepared the flexible budgets this amount taken from the flexible budgets this is the flexible budgets and the amounts are taken to the flexible budget performance report here flexible budgets this column is showing the data from the flexible budget and these are the actual results which have been taken as it is I mean in actual scenario there would be a revenues and cost those data should be taken as it is without changing or applying any formula from this three column we are going to prepare revenue and spending variance and activity variance to find out the activity variance we need to differentiate between the planning budget and the flexible budget and to find out the revenue and spending variance we need to find out the difference between the flexible budget and actual results that means in activity variance we need to find out the difference between planning budget and flexible budget and here you can see our planning budget activity level is 1800 and our flexible budget activity is 1700 because we prepared the flexible budgets on the basis of actual activity here our actual activity is 1700 that's why the same amount would be considered as a activity level for flexible budget activity level is not the concern in this flexible budget performance report but we have shown it for your better understanding our main report start from the revenue here we can see our revenue in the planning budget 29,700 and in our flexible budget the revenue is 28,050 and whenever we are comparing these two budget or whenever we are making difference or comparison between these two budget this planning budget would be considered as a standard and this flexible budget would be considered as a actual and when the actual revenue is lower than the standard then it would be a unfavorable revenue I am repeating to find out the variance the variance may be favorable variance or unfavorable variance to find out the favorable or unfavorable variance we need to compare between this flexible and planning and whenever you are comparing this planning budget and flexible budget then this planning budget should be considered as a standard standard means what should be happened and this is the actual however here our revenue in planning budget I mean our standard revenue is 29,700 but actually in flexible budget we can see our revenue is 28,050 that means it's lower than the standard that's why our difference is 1650 we can find this difference 29700 minus 28050 this is the difference 1650 in this figure we can see there is a u sign beside this figure and this u sign is indicating the unfavorable amount this 1650 is the unfavorable revenue variance why it is unfavorable because our standard revenue is 29,700 but actually we have received 28,050 that means the actual revenue is lower than the standard that's why this 1650 is the unfavorable revenue when the actual revenue is lower than unfavorable when the actual revenue is higher that is favorable but in case of cost when the actual cost is lower then it would be favorable when the actual cost is higher then it would be unfavorable in our revenue variance we can see 1650 is the unfavorable variance then we can see our cost of ingredients here the standard cost should be 11250 
but actually the cost is lower 10,625 when the cost is lower then it would be a favorable here F is indicating the favorable variance or difference here if we deduct 10,625 from the 11,250 then we can get the 625 and this difference or variance is the favorable variance because this is the actual cost which is lower than the planning or standard cost then in the wages and salaries we can see here 10,400 here same amount 10,400 there is no difference that means zero difference no favorable unfavorable variance regarding the wages and salaries because it's a fixed cost after that we can see it reduce expense here 1160 is the standard and 1140 is the actual and here we can see our actual cost is lower than the standard that's why 20 is the difference or variance which is favorable after that we can see rent expense here 2200 actual cost and standard 2200 there is no difference that's why there is zero difference i mean no favorable unfavorable variance after that we can see miscellaneous expense 2040 is the standard and in actual scenario there is a lower cost 1960 that's why the difference is 80 which is favorable difference or variance and if we add all the expenses we can see 625 favorable 20 favorable 80 favorable if we add all the favorable then our total favorable would be 725 here all the amounts are favorable that's why we have added all the amounts which is 725 and this is the total expense and our revenue is 1650 this is unfavorable and since it is unfavorable and it is favorable we will deduct because there is a different item one is unfavorable and another one is favorable if we deduct this 725 from the 1650 then we will get the net operating income which is 925 and how can you write the sign whether it is favorable or unfavorable here we can see 1650 is the higher amount comparing to the 725 we will write the sign of the higher amount here 1650 it has a u sign i mean unfavorable sign and here 725 it has a sign of f i mean favorable since this is higher that's why the sign of higher amount i mean the u i mean the unfavorable amount would be written here 925 is the unfavorable amount you can also find this amount by deducting 1725 from the 2650 our net operating income actually is lower than the standard this is the standard revenue but actually we got lower revenue that's why the amount is unfavorable when the revenue is lower that would be a unfavorable variance and this is the activity variance now we are going to prepare the revenue and spending variances and to get the revenue and spending variance we need to compare the actual results with the flexible budgets and whenever we compare the actual results with the flexible budgets this column would be standard and this column would be actual i'm repeating whenever we compare actual results with the flexible budgets this flexible budget column would be considered as a standard items and these are the actual that means here our revenue this is the standard revenue 28,050 and our actual revenue is 27,900 20 so our actual revenue is lower comparing to the standard that's why the difference is 130 since the revenue is lower that's why it's a u i mean unfavorable revenue on the other hand expenses cost of ingredients here our actual cost is higher 11110 from the standard cost 10625 that's why the difference 485 is the unfavorable because when the cost is higher comparing to the standard then it's a unfavorable amount here 485 is the unfavorable then you can see wages and salaries total 10130 this is the lower amount compared to the standard because our standard cost is 10400 but actually we provided lower cost that's why it's a favorable amount which is 270 this is the difference between this 10400 and 10130 and it's a favorable item because the actual cost is lower 
on the other hand utility expense here we can see 1080 this is the actual cost and our standard cost is 1140 actual cost is lower than the standard that's why it's a favorable the difference 60 this is a favorable variance i mean favorable utility expense in rate expense here 2200 same amount 2200 there is no difference miscellaneous expense 2240 here 1960 actual cost is higher comparing to the standard that's why since cost is higher that's why it's a unfavorable amount and the difference is 280 and whenever we add all this issue we need to classify the f and u we can see 485 is the u and 280 is the u i mean unfavorable so we need to separate two item here 485 is the unfavorable item and 280 is the unfavorable item total unfavorable item is 765 and from this we will deduct the favorable item minus 270 minus 60 here 435 if you have a question that why i am deducting the favorable from the unfavorable because to get the difference i have added the unfavorable item first then i have deducted the favorable item our main purpose is to sum up all the expenses but since there is a two types of item unfavorable and favorable that's why we need to get the difference because there are two types of item that's why we have deducted the favorable item from the unfavorable we can also deduct the unfavorable from the favorable but that depends on your higher amount if the higher amount is unfavorable then in the first stage we can add all the unfavorable amount then we can deduct the favorable amount however after addition and deduction we can get 435 again same issue why we have written u unfavorable because here 765 is the unfavorable item which is higher comparing to the favorable item that's why we have written u i mean unfavorable this 435 is the unfavorable item and in the same way our revenue is 130 and from this revenue we need to deduct the expenses but we can see this is unfavorable this is also unfavorable since they are same that's why we don't need to deduct we need to add because same figure i mean unfavorable unfavorable should be added favorable favorable should be added but if there is a different item favorable unfavorable then we will deduct since this is unfavorable item this is also unfavorable item we will add this item because same item should be added 130 here 435 total 565 i am repeating unfavorable unfavorable should be added or favorable favorable should be added and if there is unfavorable favorable we will deduct however our 565 is the unfavorable net operating income as a revenue and spending variance i mean our revenue and spending variance has a unfavorable figure we can also get this item 565 by deducting 1160 from 1725 so what is the purpose of preparing this report we can see flexible budget performance report we have prepared the performance we have got all the favorable and unfavorable item and as a manager from this u i mean unfavorable and f favorable we should take decisions of why there is a unfavorable variance unfavorable variance doesn't indicate that it's a bad issue i mean the managers who are concerned with the ingredients purchase that manager should be fired no this is not the decision you should find out why there is a higher cost as a manager you should find out the main cause or reason then as a manager you should take decision why there is a unfavorable cost in the materials and that type of decisions can be taken from flexible budget performance report as well as we can see there is a unfavorable miscellaneous cost you need to find out what are the reasons for this unfavorable cost why there is a higher cost and as a manager you can take that type of decisions from flexible budget performance report 
and if you have a question that what should be the decision for favorable item you can also take decisions to maintain such type of favorable issues i mean you should continue this favorable issues if there is no dissatisfaction of customer then that type of favorable cost should be continued and in case of unfavorable cost you should be concerned because you need to check the extra cost or expenses and in case of revenue there is unfavorable revenue you need to emphasize what are the reasons for this unfavorable revenues and these are the decisions which can be taken from flexible budget performance report performance report in cost centers sometimes there are some departments which have only cost in that case there will be no revenue no problem just you will write down the cost you will get the differences or variances that's why you may need to prepare performance report only for the cost center in case of cost center there will be no revenues and another issue is there may be multiple cost drivers if there is cost drivers more than 2 then we will indicate it q1 q2 for calculating the cost which is indicating here whenever there is a multiple cost drivers we will indicate it as a q1 q2 for calculating the cost and another important thing is that whenever we prepare the flexible budget performance report there may be some errors if all the costs are assumed to be fixed then there will be a incorrect decisions and if we consider that all the costs are variable that will also be a incorrect decisions because in this problem we can see here this miscellaneous cost has a mixed cost nature i mean fixed plus variable and there is the issue here is indicating that you should not assume that all the cost are variable cost or all the cost are fixed cost there may be mixed cost and this issue should be considered while preparing the flexible budget performance report thank you